Okay, fifth grade, lesson 99. This is on adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimal numbers. Okay, the first thing I want you to realize that we're going to talk about today is we're working with decimal numbers today and whole numbers. So let's, let me show you an example. That's a decimal number, okay? And how do we know it's not money? Because it doesn't have the dollar sign. Because it doesn't have the dollar sign, okay? Now, what if I just wrote the number three? Okay. There's a rule that you always need to remember when you're working with math. Whenever you see a whole number three, there's always a decimal even if you can't see it. And the decimal is always after the number. Okay. Okay? So if I put a one up here, it can be known in the math world that it's, there's a point afterwards even if you can't see it. Yeah. Okay? So that's just some math knowledge. Okay? Do you remember me telling you, Eli, that I could add as many zeros at the end as I wanted to? And it still equals the same amount. 6.2. Remember that? So if I had 6.2 and 6.200000, they both are equal. Okay? Because these are called terminal zeros. All right? Okay. You can also have zeros in the beginning and they're still worth nothing. Okay? Yeah. So you can have um, zeros before your whole numbers or zeros after the decimal numbers and they're called terminal zeros and they mean nothing. Okay? You got it? Now, so let's take this. They tell me to add this. Add 6.2 plus 3 plus 4.25. Okay? Do you remember the most important rule when you're adding or subtracting decimals? Um, you have to line up something. Line up the decimals? Line up the decimals. That's the most important thing you can remember when you're adding or subtracting decimals. So watch what I'm going to do. 6.2. Okay? I'm done with that one. Now I want to add this 3. Okay? okay? Where is the decimal even if I can't see it? After the 3. Very good. So I'm going to put the decimal and line it up. And you can then put I a got, zero there. And, and I can fine. put a zero there. Very good. Then I'm going to go 4.25. Now, do you see my one spot? Mm -hmm. My tenth spot? And you can and put zeros there. I can put zeros there. You don't have to, but it is very much easier for your brain to see it all. Okay? So we're going to add all of these. Okay? 5 plus nothing plus nothing is 5. 2 plus nothing plus 2 is 4. 4. 4 plus 3, actually let's do 4 and 6 since we know that's 10. Yeah. And then plus 3 more makes 13. 13. Bring down my decimal, and our answer is 13.45. You see how we did that? Yes. So there's two things that we need to remember. What do you do with a whole number? Where is the decimal? With a, after. After. And what do you do when you're adding or subtracting decimals? Line them up. Line them up. Very good. Those are the two most important things you can remember. Okay. Now, this one tells me to subtract 24.6 minus 8. Okay, so let's do this. 24.6 minus, where is my 8 going to go? Um, under the 4? Under the 4, why? Because, I don't know. Because there's a decimal. Because a whole number? Because 8 is the whole number, and there's always a decimal after the whole number. So, if we were to line those up, you're exactly right. We'll fill everything else in with zeros, and we're able to subtract. If I have 6 at the top and I take away none, I still have 6 left. I have 4 at the top. I need to borrow 1 over here. So, 8, 6, and then 1. 16.6 is our answer. Okay. Got it? Yes. All right. Now, answer this one. This one's just we're looking at place values. Okay, so I have this number, 4.65, and they said this. Which digit in this number, which digit in this number is in the same place as the 2 in 12? Um, 5. Okay, now wait a minute. Where is my decimal even if I can't see it? Oh, after. After where? The number 12. 12. Okay, so. So it let's would line be this up. 4. 
So what, here's what the question was, which digit in this number is in the same place as the 2 in 12? We know the answer would be 4. They're both in the 1 spot. Yeah. You got it? You understand it? All righty. Now, now, I do want you to remember this. Let me find one. Let me see if there is one like this. Okay, they're going to teach that later. Okay, that is lesson 99.